Hello, everyone. Have you ever been somewhere and you see a room and it's locked? So you ask people, what's that room about? They kind of give you the vague answers. Or perhaps you're in a museum and you're walking through a museum and there's a display, but you can't quite see it because you've got to go through Again, something that is barring you from going there. Your curiosity always speaks to you. What's in there? How come I can't go in there? And then as you're standing there pondering these questions, you keep thinking, I wonder what it's like in there. So you keep processing that. Then as you stand there, you see, very few people going in and out. They seem to have the key, or in these days, they'd have the badge that wands and lets them in. You're just kind of there curiously looking. One of my nephews uh, works for NASA, and occasionally he has a visitor. He can let people come into the clean room. They've got to get dressed and take off all their stuff, and they're covered head to toe. And then he wands them in and they can come in. They can't touch anything. They can only look because they've been allowed into that clean room. Imagine now, you are about to have access to this room that you never thought you'd have access to before. You've seen it. You've heard about it. You've seen the folk walk in in their special clothing. And you always wonder, what is in there? So you keep pondering that. Many have pondered for years. What's behind that door? What's behind that curtain? What keeps me from being allowed to go in behind that door? curtain how come i can't walk through that door is there something wrong with me process that because we've all been there but today we realize we know that we are allowed access to the most special place on earth the most special place in heaven you and i are being allowed access. Here's Hebrews 10, verses 19 and 20. Dear brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, a new and living way for us through the curtain, that is his body. That's a short two verses. Yes, it is. But understand how important it is. Jesus minister to us. Jesus is in there, in the holy place, the holy of holies. What's that room I was talking about before? It's the holy of holies in the temple. It's the holy of holies in the tabernacle. No one was allowed to go in there. Think of it, as I mentioned, the clean room. You had to be dressed a certain way, and then only one person could go in there. That's the high priest. But now, now, because of the body of Jesus, we get to walk through that door. We get to go through that curtain. Matter of fact, that door and curtain no longer exist. In the tabernacle and in the temple, there was this thick curtain made out of all types of materials and colors to keep us from seeing and experiencing God face to face. That's why only the high priest could go in once a year. But now, because of the blood of Jesus, his body broken, we get to go in there. Scripture goes out of its way. So let us know that the moment Jesus died, the veil of the temple was torn in two. What does that mean? It means that access to the Father has been given to you given to me because of Jesus's 
body. Let's, let me put it the way it says it. A new and living way open for us through the curtain. What's the new and living way? Because remember, before, only the high priest could go in there. That's the old way. The new way, the living way, because of the body of Jesus, means that you and I can come in anytime we want to. Because that is where the Savior is. Now, he gives us one more line here, which is so wonderful. Because of the blood of Jesus, because of him deciding he will come for us, because of that, this, that, that therefore is therefore. We have confidence. Confidence. We have bold assurance. This is the fourth time a writer has given us that same idea that we have confidence. We can enter boldly into the holy place, the holy of holies. Come boldly into the throne of grace. Come into the holy of holies. Come because this is where Jesus is. Come with confidence. Now, I know we all have different personalities and confidence for some is different than others. But the idea here is again, boldness with assurance that you can come. Why bring up personality? Because sometimes we shy away from the boldness that the Father gives us. We fearfully come. Sometimes our personalities are full of fear. This verse and others in 4 and 6 tell us we don't have to fear. We can come in to the Father's presence boldly, confidently, assuredly, without fear. Boldness, confidence, assurance is the whole idea that we can come into the Father's presence without fear. Go back to our opening illustrations. The door that you couldn't go through, that only certain people could go through. You'd in, enter that with fear. You sneak in, hoping you're not found. You kind of shy away and stay along the wall because you know you're not supposed to be there fear, but no, no, because of the blood of Jesus, because of his body broken for you and me, you can come in with boldness, but I'll go a step further with you. You belong there. Those other doors, the key with the wand, the curtain, you couldn't go in. People aren't telling you what's behind that door. It's really a way of saying you don't belong there. Jesus is saying to you, saying to me, you belong there. You belong here with me. Oh, my. Come boldly. Come confidently. Come with bold assurance. Come assuredly. Because you belong you now can enter the most holy place because of the blood of Jesus in a new way, boldly, confidently, assuredly, a living way, because you have been made alive with Christ because of his life in you, your life in him, because each of us has been covered with the blood of Jesus. Jesus invites you in each and every day to come rest with him, sit with him, know him. That's why, again, we're reminded, come boldly to the throne of grace, the mercy seat. Come boldly to the holy place that you might find grace and mercy when you need help. And even when you don't, you just visit with Jesus. Jesus, again, you amaze us, and we are blessed by it. 
that we're able to enter into that holy place where you are, to be with you, to come to the mercy seat, to come to the altar, to come to the throne of grace, because you have made us worthy. We're invited in. We belong there. So, Lord, help us to come with confidence. Lord, we love you. We bless you and praise you. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Be blessed today, my dear friends.